Next item of business is a member's business debate on motion 19205 in the name of Ruth Maguire on the day of the imprisoned writer. This debate will be concluded without any questions being put. Could I ask those members uh, who wish to speak in the debate please to press the request to speak buttons now and I call on Ruth Maguire to open the debate. Ms Maguire, seven minutes please. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Every year on the 15th of November, Penn International and Penn Centres around the world mark Day of the Imprisoned Writer and stand in solidarity with at-risk and imprisoned writers across the globe. I'd like to welcome representatives from Penn to the gallery and thank them for all the work that they do on this matter. Day of the Imprisoned Writer marks a moment to call for all imprisoned writers to be released and all at-risk writers to be protected. And I'd thank uh, members from across the chamber in supporting my motion and this debate today. I hope that as cross-party representatives from across Scotland, we can unite in our call for all writers in prison to be released, for all threats and attacks to be defended against and investigated in line with the law and international standards, and where individuals have been murdered, to demand full, transparent, robust investigations to ensure that those behind these crimes are brought to justice. Freedom of expression is a fundamental human right. It's essential for society to function well. If we are to have good governance and democracy, if we are to have inter intercultural dialogue, if we are to have peace, we must have freedom of expression. And to anyone inclined to shut down freedom of expression in the name of their cause or their belief, no matter how benign or positive they feel their views are, I would ask them to reflect on what that means in the long run, reflect on where that leads. If I can quote Icorn, a closed, censored society will soon become something like an autocracy with corruption and frightened servants instead of citizens. Presiding officer, whether people in power like it or not, in the long run, critique, dialogue, different ideas, different opinions, robust challenge,